Hi, this is Greg from the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech Team, and today we're going to talk about changing the cooling fluid in the JZF. This is something that you would probably want to do about once every two years under normal operating conditions. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got the panel off, as you can see, and I uh, just want to make a quick safety note here that we're going to be working in this area with the, with the power back on in a second. So be careful not to touch anything that you don't need to. And what we need to do first is to turn off this pump breaker. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the blower breaker as well, just because it's noisy. It's not necessary for the operation, but I just wanna say, save some noise. Next, we're gonna turn on the main power, hit the button. Okay, so now we've got an empty container to pump this fluid out, and we're gonna use this return line. We're gonna pull this out, try to be neat, and put it into this container. And then we're going to turn on the pump. Now we're gonna let it pump down. You can see it's going down. And when it gets to the end, Then we're going to turn off the pump. Then we're going to replace the line back in here. Now we're ready to fill it with some new coolant. I'm going to open this up. Now we're going to pour the new coolant in. And you'll notice the level is higher than it was before. That's because it has to fill the system. And I'm gonna turn the pump on for a minute. Now it's filling this whole cooling system. And that's about as full as it gets, but if it was lower than that, you could refill it, and I would refill it so it's just above this uh, band. Okay, so we have it refilled at the right level. Uh, don't forget to turn your blower back on, and then I'm gonna put the panel on, and then we're done. And we're done. If you found value in this video, like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, contact us.